These days, everyone has been asking me, Liz, how do you deal with your haters? How do you deal with bullies? Okay, listen to me. First of all, I do not deal with haters anymore. I think I used to be very much like more involved, but as if right now, I do not read my comments. I don't know what is said, being said about me. I mean, sometimes I hear it, but I'm not really involved with them. Why? Because I don't want to give them my energy. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. I'm in my own little bubble with my, just the people I love, with my cat. I'm good, you know, I'm good. I'm minding my own business. I'm doing my own stuff. I'm upgrading my life in silence. I'm not bothering anyone. So why should I allow someone to bother me? No, okay? The only power haters have over you or bullies have over you is the power you give them by you giving them a reaction. But if you take that away, they do not have any power over you. They can only make you feel bad if you allow them to make you feel bad. On top of that, with haters, I realized, you know, somebody, somebody that's successful, somebody that's beautiful, somebody that has a lot of self-confidence, self-worth, will never go and like write something nasty or like create rumors or do like very nasty stuff nobody who's actually living a successful and happy life does that it's always the miserable ugly looking gremlins that want to talk but baby instead of worrying about other people's faces about other people's life look at your own most of the time it's jealousy it's envy everything that's involved but at the end of the day i do not care for them it's like me 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 Mm, no. Recently, I went to visit my family in the country where I grew up and I met up with a friend that I hadn't seen in a long time. And she basically told me um, about like a girl who reached out to her again, who knew that me and her were friends. Uh, she basically told my friend like all these stuff about me that people were saying. And then my friend told her, she was like, but why are you telling me all this? You know, like it's all obviously a lie. And then why are you telling me this? And then she goes like, yeah, just so you, just so you can tell Liz what people say about her. And what will I do now? Will I cry? Like, I like the fact that I'm talked about. Do you guys not get it? I want to be talked about. I think haters are my biggest fans. You have my regular fans. And then you have my super obsessed fans, AKA haters, because they will watch a video and they will constantly watch it until they find something that they can take out of context and they can run for like years and years and say, oh my God, she said this, she said this. But like my other fans who are just normal, they'll just watch it, take whatever they want and they'll leave. Like truly, like what will I do now? Oh my God, no, people are talking about me. Why am I on social media to not be talked about? Are you insane? That's so dumb. I saw a painting that said, uh, there's one thing worse than being talked about, and that is not being talked about. And that made me really realize how true that is. Because imagine nobody talked about me. Nobody even cared for who I was or what I did. Like I would not be successful. In this video, I will show you how you can deal with bullies, haters. Bullies you can have in school, you can have uh, at your job. Uh, this is literally a very good video for anyone. I have been bullied uh, in my own home by an abusive parent and always in school. Like I was always bullied. So I can give you the best advice. Hi guys, my name is Liz and welcome back to my channel. Okay, let's get right into it. First things first, do not have empathy for them. Listen, I really, I am a very empathic person. So I am the kind of person I would always put myself in other people's shoes, right? So I had this girl, she used to bully me uh, when I was in high school and constantly she would bully me. She would make fun of my looks, everything. And I always felt bad for her because everyone was saying like, yeah, it's because her dad like left them. She's very traumatized because of that. Then I was thinking, oh, that's so sad for her. But now I'm thinking like, I literally, the same at the same time, I was growing up with an abusive parent that was abusing me every single day. And I did not act like that towards anyone. So at the end of the day, I do not have empathy for them anymore because you can literally decide what you do with what happened with, to you. Yes, life is unfair. Things happen, uh, you did not deserve it. But how can I, just because I was abused as a child and all these things, go on to grow up to do that to someone else. I would never, because I know how it feels. 
I know how damaging that is. Even saying something to someone, I, I do not feel good if I made someone upset because of my words, because of anything. I literally would not be able to sleep at night. These are the type of people, they feel comfortable in this, you know? Like people say like, yeah, but it's hard for them, you know, they grew up like very harsh, whatever. No, you know what's actually hard? Get Growing up that way, growing up in an abusive household or like being traumatized, whatever, and then choosing to not be like that. Because that's the only thing you know. But if you choose to be like, you know what, I am not going to do this. I am not going to continue this. That is actual strength. Doing the same thing that you have been taught because that's the only thing you know. And oh, victim mindset, so sorry that this happened to me. Yeah, actually nobody cares what happened to you, truly. You should take responsibility for what happened and you should deal with that. And you should not go out and bully other people or hate on other people because you have issues. That is not my issue or anyone else's issue. That is for you to fix. Do not have empathy for them. Have that empathy for yourself. They are putting you through something that is not okay. They are putting you through something that is not nice. Regardless of their situation, I could not care less about their situation. I do not care. You should look at yourself and be like, am I being treated badly? Have empathy with yourself. Another thing is stop trying to be nice to them. This is a mistake we make because we think, oh, if they're bullying us, like we should be nice to them. Maybe they'll be nicer to us. Kill them with kindness. This never works. This does not work. Why? These people do not know what it means to be kind. These people do not know what niceness is. I actually tried this once with my abusive parent. Um, I grew up and I was sitting down uh, with this person at the table and I was like, okay, maybe, you know what, like I should just be nicer to this person because then this person will like me more. So then I remember we were having a conversation and stuff and I was just being normal and whatever. And then I said something nice to this person, which I hadn't tried before. I swear I never got scolded more in my life. The reaction was insane. Like literally, and I, I, I literally left the table crying. Like this person completely turned because I was nice to them. These people do not know what nice is. To them, it's a threat. So if you're trying to be nice to them, that will actually make them even more angry and make them even more upset. But what do you do instead? Instead, every single person, whether it's a bully, whether it's a guy, whether it's whoever, you mirror them. The same energy they give to you, you give to them. Same with bullies. Like uh, they're cold to you, they're they're distant, they, they're mean to you, whatever. I'm not saying go provoke them and be mean back, but keep your distance then. Do not try to get closer to them, okay? You keep your distance. You do not engage with them. You, you just be on your own, whatever. But mirror them. Do whatever they do to you. If you're texting a guy, right, and this guy is being cold and dry to you, whatever, and you're trying to be nice and then like have conversation going, no. You are cold and dry as well. You give them exactly what they give you. This works like gold, like gold. I had this one friend of mine, he had like issues at his job, whatever. And this one guy uh, who was working with him, his coworker, he constantly was like uh, digging at him and throwing digs at him, whatever. And he would like, he would let it slide, slide. And he was just trying to be nice to him. So he would like him, right? But then I told him, you should start mirroring him. Do exactly what he does to you. Give him the same energy, right? So uh, with that, I meant like if he's being passive aggressive, so he makes like comments that are like not nice, but he says it in a way where you can't really say, hey, that was not nice, you know? Being passive aggressive, you are being passive aggressive back to him. You give him the same way. He's treating you in a cold manner. You treat him in a cold manner. When pe people start to mirror them, that's when actually the person also starts to see what he is doing wrong. Another thing is don't tell them anything about you. Do not share anything personal. Do not share anything, per, uh, pictures, nothing. Do not. Do not try to befriend your bullies or whatever. Do not. Do not go there. Like I said in my last video about friends and all these things, these people are nobody's friends. 
These people don't like themselves. When somebody doesn't like themselves, they will not like you. It doesn't matter. They will betray you. They will do whatever. You will be in so much trouble. Do not share anything personal with this person because anything you say will be used against you. Imagine you shared something or, or it already happened or they know something about you or they want to expose something about you or a picture they have or a video or whatever. Have no fear. Tell them, leak it. Do it. You take your power back by having no fear. When somebody is not scared of anything, they have nothing, nothing on you. Because at the end of the day, the only thing they feel powerful of is your fear. The only thing they're feeding off right now is your fear. I, ha I learned this with my uh, abusive parent. Uh, when I was younger, all of my siblings and we would all get abused. We were so uh, scared of this person, everything. But then when we grew up, we started to really like uh, speak up for ourselves and we started to defend ourselves and defend our other siblings when anything happened. And that's when, and that's when it really showed how small this person was. Like he was not powerful at all. We made him powerful because we gave him constant like, oh, we're scared of you. We're scared of you. We gave him like that constant fear. So he was feeding off of that. But when we started to speak up for ourselves, he totally lost his power because there was no more fear. And that's also when he left. The only thing they have over you is your fear of them. Fear nothing. The thing is take nothing lightly. Listen, when uh, bullies, when they become physical with you, right? And even if it's like a little push or whatever, I had, um, this one friend of mine and she basically nobody would ever bully her because this girl one time we were in class and this one of this guy like he pushed her but playfully this girl went down on the floor and started yelling ah he hurt me miss he hurt me i'm in so much pain i'm a heart patient and like a whole like i've never seen something like this before by the way, this girl is still my best friend. Like, I love her so much. But it was insane. And after that, nobody ever dared to touch her because she made it so big. And even the, like, the principal came, everyone was like, oh my God, is she okay? Like, everyone was so stressed because she made it so big. And I, for example, I would like let comments slide. I would let like even them hitting me. I would let slide. Oh yeah, it just jokes, it just jokes. It's not jokes, okay? You are the joke. You are the joke. Literally, they're making fun of you. So now if I would be in high school again and I would do it all over, oh, I would be the biggest drama queen ever. Anything they say to me, I'll go to the principal and be, sit there for like 10 hours. I don't care, like complaining all day. I would get police involved. I would do anything, literally. Like, have no shame. Literally, if you feel uncomfortable about something, I don't care if you go on, onto the floor, cry your eyes out, start yelling, whatever. You do anything that is so dramatic that it will not ever happen again. And don't think it's like weak to appear like that in front of other people or, oh, like you lost the fight. Honey, I lose a fight any single day because I do not fight. I literally don't fight. Who am I gonna fight? Why, why should I fight? I'll fight you in court, yes. But I don't get physical with anyone. Imagine they do something to my face or something or, or they break something. That's disgusting. Tell people in authority. Tell your boss. Tell your principal. Tell the police. I do not care. Go to people in authority. Don't think that is weak. Don't think that is snitching. No. People lose their lives over this. This is your life. Your life's important. Okay? You can actually do something about this when you tell people in authority. And you should bother these people because sometimes even people in authority will not help you. They're like, oh yeah, whatever, it's not that big of a deal. No, bother them, bother them, bother them until you actually get what you want. Change schools, change your working environment, change your city, your environment, your country. 
anything where you feel like you're being treated in a negative way, anything where you feel is a negative environment for you, where you cannot thrive, where you're being bullied, you change that place. It is not weird to like go to a different country where you feel better. It is not weird to change schools. No, whatever you need to do to have mental peace and to have peace in your life and to actually start healing from the things they put you through, that is amazing. And you should actually, actually do that because that's what's best for you. Do not think that it's weak or that you're running away or, or that they will think you're weak or whatever. The weakest human beings are the ones that bully others. They're so weak. They're so pathetic. They're so ugly. Come on. Focus on upgrading yourself. Focus on healing yourself. Um, a lot of times we don't understand what kind of trauma and bullying brings. We just uh, shrug it off. Oh, whatever. It was in high school, whatever. No, those things actually leave an imprint on you even uh, in your adult years and whatever happens. So focus on healing that, focus on talking to people, talking to a therapist, writing it down, journaling, um, and focus on really creating a higher sense of self-worth, of self-confidence, upgrading yourself in every single way possible. Focus on anything that you feel like is best for you. And at the end of the day, haters and bullies will become fans. Literally the people that have bullied me, literally the people that have hated me, are literally fans now. And it's just embarrassing. Like, you know what? Haters, I love haters. They're so easy to manipulate. If you can make someone hate you for no reason, you know how strong of an emotion hate is. Like, I can make them love them, love me as well, like so quick. I'm so, like, I love to manipulate these people. Like, I can say anything and they're mad and triggered. And then they send all their energy to me just because I made them mad, but they're so easy to make mad. I think any day is a good day when a hater cries. Anyways, guys, don't let yourself get discouraged. Like, make yourself feel bad about these ugly, low-life people. Like, genuinely. Um, just focus on yourself. Focus on doing every single po possible to keep your safety because that's the most important thing. You are actually the strongest one out there and all the people that were bullied before are successful now. It's always like that. Because God really blesses you and he did that with me and he will do that with you. So do not worry. It will all be okay. And do not fear them because of your fear, you're giving them power. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys learned something. And yeah, I love you. I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.